This week, four ways to keep from sinking in today's ugly mortgage market. Welcome back to the industry leader update. Okay, this isn't 2008 all over again, but it is one of the ugliest housing and mortgage markets that we've seen. And we're not gonna try to put lipstick on a pig on today's mortgage market. We just can't do it. However, as ghastly as the housing and mortgage markets are, there are some practices that mortgage professionals can put into place to weather the storm. And the United States, by the way, is not alone when it comes to central banks increasing interest rates. In fact, the Bank of Canada has hiked its overnight interest rate six times this year alone. And that has led to the average home value in Canada dropping by 22% in just the last seven months. That's why a recent column in the Canadian Mortgage Professional impressed me because it avoided a Pollyanna outlook while at the same time, they dispensed some constructive and realistic advice. Remember, what's bleak today will eventually improve. The question is, how does one survive today's market? And the first suggestion from the Canadian Mortgage Professional or CMP Magazine is one that most of us as salespeople fail at, and it's follow-up. During the rush of heckam to heckam refinances here in the States, it was easy not to follow up with our previous borrowers or even our professional connections and network. Generally, it was a capacity or time issue due to the glut of application activity which was triggered by historically low interest rates. CMP says follow-ups show your existing clientele that you're paying attention and you're not just in it for the money and that you actually care. Borrowers who believe that you care, by the way, are more inclined to give you referrals. So automated reminders for follow-ups can ease the burden, which leads us to the next strategy, mining your database. Now that is if you have a CRM or a customer relationship manager that you've been making part of your daily business practice. Now, if you have, then you can search for customers based on defined parameters, perhaps the value of their home, outstanding mortgage balance, or location. Many may not qualify today, but they could qualify in the future when rates have eventually normalized or their outstanding mortgage balance has been reduced enough. Be sure to schedule a future follow-up each year. And when it comes to CRMs, the best one is the CRM you actually use. And that's what our team here at Reverse Focus has said since we launched the industry's flagship reverse mortgage-centric CRM sales engine. Now, to learn more, you can click on the button just below this video. Next is to ask who may benefit by boosting their monthly cash flow. Now, those of you originating traditional loans could reach out to your younger mortgage clientele and ask them, how are your parents doing right now during this time of historic inflation and surging prices? Are they struggling to make ends meet? Are they drowning in credit card debt as interest charges are increasing? Now, as noted in the article, empathy builds trust and it opens the door to present potential solutions. Last is sales activity. The more interactions you initiate with potential borrowers or professionals, the more likely you are to find sales opportunities. We can't complain that we haven't caught a single fish all day if we haven't first baited the line and cast it into the water. So schedule those meetings with area professionals, hold workshops in your community about reverse mortgages, and make outbound phone calls each week for prospecting. And in doing so, you increase your odds of success. Now, certainly it's more painful in our ugly mortgage market, but the potential is found in sustained sales activity. Keeping one's head above water in today's market is no easy task, but it is achievable. Now, what are your thoughts? Give us some of your suggestions on how you would advise someone to survive today's market. You can do that in the comment section below. Also, if you'd be so kind as to share today's video on your LinkedIn or Facebook profiles. And don't forget we have a YouTube channel where you can subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you never miss an upcoming episode. And you can catch up on this week's reverse mortgage news. In fact, we have our monthly reverse market insights segment. And so you can listen to that here at Heckam World where Apple users can listen and subscribe on iTunes. Thanks again for joining us. And until we meet next week, we wish you success and that you may win even in one of the most challenging markets that we've seen in some time. Have a good week.